Chagua penina alikuwa hapo mlikuja wakati mama yangu bibi yangu aliniacha kule Karen na mkaniambia pole asandeni sana thank you thank you very much asanteni ah uh, rais wetu wa jamhuri ya Kenya dr william ruto baba wetu maskofu wetu viongozi wale wamefika hapa wa Kristo wa hapa kitui waitu moyaseo moyaseo ingi Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati nisalimenie kwa hewa bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe tena Mheshimiwa Rais yetu ni kushukuru hawa wa Kristo kwa kutualika hapa kwa ibada ya shukrani tukija hapa kitui tangu tulimaliza mambo ya uchaguzi tunataka tuchukue nafasi hii na wakaaji wa kitui tuseme rais William Ruto na sisi zote tuko na shukrani kwa zile kura mlitupatia asanteni sana hata kama haikufika pahali tungetaka at least mlituongezea ile ya 2017 na tunaona tunasonga tunasonga na kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana rais wetu ametuagiza ya kwamba tufanye kazi na tusaidie kila mkenya na yeye ni rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya yeye si rais wa wale walimpigia kura mingi yeye anaunganisha wa Kenya wote watafanyiwa kazi bila ubaguzi na ndio mimi nimekuwa na mkutano na magavana wenu na makaunti komishina wote na tumekubaliana jinsi ya kufanya kazi. Na mheshimiwa rais tumepanga ukambani wataweza kupata chakula ya kusaidia wale ambao wako na jana. Yetu ni kuomba magavana wetu na makaunti komishina na viongozi washirikiane wasimamie hiyo chakula peano na njia ya uwazi isikuje kupata miguu na kwenda kando ifikie kila mtu na kwa hivyo tuna matumaini ya kwamba hata hapo mbele tutaongeza chakula tukiendelea kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu atupatie mvua ndio hali hii ya kiangazi iendelee kwenda chini kidogo pia mheshimiwa rais ningetaka kukujulisha ya kwamba tumefanya mipango kabambe mambo ya usalama kwa zile shida zimekuwa hapa inaangaliwa vizuri na maofisa wako kwa ground na kazi inaendelea na ni matumaini yetu ya kwamba kile kisa kilitokea hatutakuwa na marudio ya hiyo maneno nimeona mheshimiwa na gavana mnatetea watu wetu wa UDA. Sisi tutajua kuchunga watu wetu. Lakini vile ninaona pia gavana unatetea hawa tuwasaidie serikali kuu hata wewe kwa county tuchukulie wengine utusaidie ndio tusonge pamoja. Si si yuko namna hiyo? Si hata gavana atusaidie? Na huyu gavana ni mungwana. Tulitaka akuje pande yetu lakini siasa hapa ikamchanganya kidogo. Governor wa Vinyandeti sisi hatuna shida na Mheshimiwa Kalonzo. Tunamngoja. Nyinyi ndio mtaamua what you want with him. Because we don't understand him. We don't. Ukweli ni kwamba tulimtafuta. Tukimtafuta akuje kwetu anarudi kwa ile mzee akusimia. Hata siku ameaibishwa. Sisi ndio tulikuwa tunamtetea. Mlisikia nikimtetea? Anaitwa interview anaulizwa ati jina yako ni nani leta kitabulisho bibi yako anaitwa nani ulibatishwa mwaka gani kwako ni wapi akaangaishwa aka lakini yatoki huko sasa atuelewi si William Ruto ndio rais wa Kenya sasa atuelewi kwa nini anachanganyikiwa so governor wa Vinya it is up to you since we have no problem with the Kalonzo Musyoka but we don't understand him at all ile ameaibishwa ile alioneshwa 
akaambiwa ya kwamba ati yeye hawezi lete kura yule dada ya kwetu yataleta kura dada yetu alileta kura yote Sinikalonzo alilete na gari yako pale we don't understand it we don't lakini sisi tunamheshimu tunampenda na hatuna shida na yeye but it is you viongozi ya ukabani mkae na yeye you guide him so because how what ya ukabani ni watu wazuri they cannot remain in opposition permanently it is it's not right because nyinyi mnahitaji serikali huyu rais wetu kwa sababu mimi ni mkristo lazima nimwambie ukweli ama nisimwambie mimi karibu tuko sana na yeye juu yenu sasa anagawa serikali akukura hapa ni kidogo amepatia foreign affairs amechukua amepatia penina amechukua amepatia nikamuuliza hii watu na kuna kura walete Bono napatia kila kitu. Sasa akaniambia hii wakamba wananipenda. Lakini <laughs> viongozi wao ndi wanapoteza hao njia. Na mimi nitakaa na hii wakamba mpaka wanipende. Sasa sasa bosi yako akisema namna hiyo si hata wewe nakubali. Hata mimi nimependa nyinyi sasa. Lakini tafadhali tafadhali viongozi ya wakambani please we beg you this area has serious problems ya maji ya kila kitu these are not people who have any business in opposition these people should must be in government kwa hivyo nyinyi wa vinya malobe na wengine kama steven amepotea pale kwa ile mzee ya kuzimia nyinyi mnatosha kuchukua wakamba mlete ndani ya serikali you can do it ama wakama mnataka kuingia ndani ya serikali? Ama mnataka kuzimia kule? Ama muzimie tu? Mnataka kuja ndani ya serikali? And you know I don't understand. It is clear William Ruto is the president of Kenya. So what choice is there for Kalonzo? This is government in any opposition. The choice is as clear as day from night. So we don't understand. Juzi amekuja pale mashujaadi tukafikiria amerudi jana tumemuona tena amerudi home abe. we don't understand <laughs> we are lost <laughs> so nyinyi viongozi ya kanisa mtatuambia what to do we are ready we are ready for kalonzo we are ready for ukambani but we don't understand your leader anymore mwishoe <laughs> si uchaguzi umeisha si tufanye kazi pamoja tufanye kazi na huyu gavana si ndio na hao waheshimiwa makao mulu umesema vizuri you provide opposition keep us in check and we are happy tumefika pahali tuko because huyo mzee akuzimia aliwacha kazi yake ya upinzani akaingia kwa serikali tukakwama you oversight us and we are ready any day lakini zile shida ililetwa na hiyo mzee hiyo mstuulize mtuulize maneno yetu mtuulize maneno yetu hiyo tutajibu hadi tumeanzia hii siku 34 that you can hold us to account but ile ilifanyika the five years you cannot ask us because wewe na hawa ndio mlileta hiyo shida so you cannot ask us that problem <laughs> ningetaka ya mwisho niseme tumeambia officers wetu wafanye kazi na viongozi na tumekubaliana but wakati wa hiyo siasa mbaya kuna machifu waliumizwa senior chief wetu pale wa kisovo ati bibi yake alipatikana na t-shirt ya UDA akasimamishwa kazi sasa hiyo ni mambo gani it is wrong so where regional commissioner huyo chief arudi kazi because hakuna makosa amefanya sasa bibi yako akivaa t-shirt ya UDA wewe unaweza ulizwa kuna mtu anaweza uliza wewe ile nguo bibi yako anavaa si hiyo ni mambo ya mama let us also be fair to people let us not punish people for things that should not happen How do you punish a chief because of their political activities of his wife? Na kila mtu Kenya ako huru kufanya vile anataka. So wacha tuendelee tukisaisha hiyo maneno hata nyinyi regional commissioner mjue siasa imeisha. So the wrongs that were done wakati ya siasa tusaishe ndio we make progress ndio. Ningetaka niwajulishe viongozi wenu. Na nyinyi mmefaidika. Mume Nimemwambia mimi nilikuwa na shida lakini mkubwa yangu akaniambia nimwachie he knows what he's doing na nikakubali tuko na minister wa foreign affairs Alfred Mutua. Pigieni ya makofi. 
Sasa uso ya ukambani the whole of Kenya muko pale. Hata kama kula ilikuwa kidogo lakini ni sawa. Si ndio? Tuko na security national security advisor huyu Monica Juma. Na ni wenu huyu. Anaitwa Kadhena. Si ni wenu? Ya mweze masi wenu. Kadhena si ni wenu. Eh? Haya tuko na Penina Malonza huyu. Si William Ruto ameangalia nyinyi haja angalia nyinyi. Tuko na chairman wa UDA chama cha kitaifa Senator Johnson Mudhama. Sasa hii chama ni yenu, serikali ni yenu. Sasa muamue vile mtakaa hapo mbele. Pale mbele. Si mtapanga? You will have to see but this situation is not right. The people of Kambani cannot be led into opposition forever. They need also to be in government. Lakini president wetu amemuleta ndani so that nyinyi mfurute wale wengine. And it's up to you also. Mkiona viongozi wanapotea, you tell them no. Pale kwetu mlima Kenya, kiongozi alikuwa anataka kutupeleka kwa kuzimia, tukamwambia hapana, tutaenda kwa hili ya mlito. Tulienda hata kuenda. It's also your time to liberate yourself from negative politics. Mukiona kiongozi anapeleka nyinyi mstuni, mnapinduka mnaenda pahali iko na asali. Kwa hayo mengi ningetaka nichukue nafasi hii, nimuulize tusimame kwa heshima, tumkaribishe Rais wa